Hello! Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Um, we are here again for our live at ipagpatuloy natin yung lifestyle principle ng isang truly rich at faithful na tao katulad kahalan, kahalin tulad ng attitude ng isang turtle sa book na ito which is the turtle always wins and how to make millions in the stock market so today we will discuss about build your farm before you build your home hi mian thank you for being here this bible passage is intriguing in proverbs 24 27 it says don't build your house and establish a home until your fields are ready and you are sure that you can earn a living. So, what a gem kung nabasa natin ito. But, there is a story that I wanted to tell you fa which is found in this book, who did not follow this advice and built his house before he built his farm. Um, he is a friend of Brother Bo and was a vice president of a large company. When he was 55 years old, he felt his house was old and needed repair. So, he took a company loan and remodeled his house. He repaired the roof, he retiled the kitchen, the bathroom and the patio, he repainted his entire house, all in all spent 2 million pesos. He was confident he could be able to pay the loan. But one year later, his company closed down. He was forced to retire. His retirement pay took care of the loan, but he had no money left. At 56, he could not get another job. So, he had his nice house, but was poor if he did not get a job he'd be forced to sell his house so sa ngayon ang daming retiree na who have their nice houses and are very poor because they built their home first before they built their farm so Ito lang yung remember natin, your farm is to build your farm before your house. We need to secure our livelihood before our lifestyle. Establish your income stream before your expense stream. Farms put money in your pocket but nice houses remove money from your pocket. So, ano yung farm mo nga sa ngayon? One of the most important farm is your own personal retirement fund. So, dapat magsimula ka ng mag-invest. At it should be on the right vehicle. We were not saying, as Bo has said, that you, sh you should not buy your house. You should, dahil sa example na binigay dito, Mr. Vice President already had a house. Repairing it was not the problem, but he should not spend 2 million because he did not have the money in the first place. Remember, that money was loaned. At yun yung naging problema niya dahil hmm, 
wala sa mga kamay niya yun kung di ni loan niya lang. So, kung nag-ipon siya para ipa-repair yung bahay niya, that is much better. So, kung nag-start siya ng kanyang investment program years, years ago, when he started working, millions, well, we're already growing his retirement fund and he still has a job. But then, if you have still a job right now, brother boss advice, and of course, your trolley is to have a farm too. So, dapat binibuild natin yun hand in hand. And remember the, the rule of the farm, so in times of famine. Kahit um, difficult yung buhay at we are struggling, kailangan nating gagawin yun month after month. When you're still starting out in your job and when your salary is low or small and when money is still very scarce, that's the perfect time to invest dahil nabibuild natin yung discipline natin to put something on our retirement fund. Never wait and say, I'll invest when things are much better dahil hindi yun mangyayari kung when the times things get better you are increasing your expenses because from experience of course as I said time will never come head the bible and follow these principles of the truly rich and the faithful because you need to build your farm before your home and of course your farm is your retirement fund so maraming salamat once again for being here with me today and for those who are on their twilight of these years and hindi pa nakapag-ipon ng inyong retirement fund, I think you should think more about entrepreneurship. Dahil when you are investing, it should be in a longer period of time to maximize the high and low of the stock market. Or if you are investing directly or if you are putting your investment into the mutual funds at kung wala ka ng, ka, ka ng time of course think entrepreneurship and if you wanted to earn additional income in the next years to come para sa iyong sarili at para sa iyong mga anak I have an opportunity with you if you wanted to learn more about it just uh, send me a message and we will talk about it and you have so that you can have the chance to look and evaluate if this is a fit for you or not and this business is about making people better hi Tess hi Tito Dennis good afternoon thank you all for being here with me today so this is Erms and my prayer for all of you who are always be here with me on my lives and for those who are always watching on my replays that what you prayed for may it be granted beyond what you are expecting and beyond what you work on and always remember to do that extra every day to better your life and the lives of others and your family. And always, don't forget to pay yourself first. Maraming salamat, blessings to all, and have a great day, and have a great night everyone. See you all again on our next live here on my wall.